Welcome to NXX. NXX gives you the ability to run NX in your browser. Let's take a look now at some of the features of NXX. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to open our assembly of our airplane and go ahead and take a look at some of the subsystems of it. As you can see, we are using the NX lightweight loading to be able to quickly load a massive assembly into our NX session. You can notice them in the browser by the tabs across the top of my screen that show the other things that may have going on in the background. But once my entire assembly is open, we'll go ahead and start interrogating the design to do our daily work. The first thing you'll notice is we've loaded the entire assembly very quickly. And we go ahead, we have the complete assembly now loaded. If we look, we have 6,274 parts that are loaded into our session to allow us to get a complete look at the entire aircraft design. What we want to do now is kind of step through some of the subsystems systems of the aircraft. Let's, for instance, start with the avionics system, mostly located up front. The thing you can notice with NX Minimal Loading is it loads the complete entire assembly in all the complete rich detail you need. You can notice that as you see through the airplane as we load up some of the systems, out, but all the parts needed to represent them are there. It's not just a shell of the outside of the design. It's the entire complete design. All 6,274 instances of parts placed in the correct location for us to go ahead and take a look at. So we're starting to look at the electrical system, where all the climate systems are going to be, the fuel system, and then eventually we'll get around to looking at the landing gear. And the final thing for today is really is what we want to do is we want to interrogate the structure because our task for today is to update some of the structure components. So after we load up the structure, you'll notice now we have the structure of the aircraft up, and we're going to go ahead now, and we're going to do some simulation of the motion of our, stru of our structure design. What we want to do is we want to run the entire structure through its paces of running the flaps, the ailerons, and the vertical and horizontal stabilizers. What we've done is we've applied, through the use of Animation Designer, the complete motion system needed for this, com system needed for this complex assembly. And it's, a, it's now as easy as pushing a play button to see all the kind of motion we have already put into our structure. First, we'll go ahead and look at the wings. And after we look at the wings, we'll go look at the tail section. The thing with using this is we can move the aircraft around and get different perspectives on the motion as it is being performed. So once we're done studying the complete motion of our aircraft, after we look at the horizontal stabilizers at the very end going up and down, independent of each other, offset, and then together, what we want to do after that is we want to start working on our design task for the day. And one of the parts in the flaps needs to have a couple of design changes to it. That's the reason I came in here at the beginning of the day to start my work. You'll notice the one part over here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and highlight that part and we're just going to move it over to a, a new window to work just in the context of it by itself. One of the things you'll notice, even though we're using NXX, is if you're com engaging in a mono-based definition or is working already there, you'll notice the richness of the PMI dimensions we have already included into this part as we begin, begin working on it. This PMI really allows people to be able to go ahead and get the information they need quickly and visually without having to go to other things and measure stuff on their own. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take some of the ribs out of this middle section and line them up more with the ribs from the outer section. This was our design change. Some of the ribs we had, that weren't, they weren't quite lining up. And from a structural integrity point, we needed to go ahead and adjust a couple of those ribs. We're using powerful NX synchronous technology to first line the ribs up with the top ones and then again, to put that extra beef on in these middle sections of ribs by using the offset command. Finally, we'll push it back a little bit. We have that cliff edge blend that we really want to get into the part. We don't want it over the edge. We want it basically into the part. So we're going to go ahead and just move one face back a little, move one face back a little bit. And the beautiful thing with synchronous technology, you'll notice, is the blends update as you move faces around. You're not getting the trimmed off blend that was there. It knows that that was a blend that says, I need to add some material in there to make that a complete blend and be able to complete work, continue to work with my design. Once we have the first rib kind of situated where we need, we're not going to take the pocket, and we're going to do the same kind of thing. We're going to replace the back face up to that other face to make them parallel. You notice you get some alerts because it can't replace the face where the two blends come together. So what we want to do to eliminate that alert is what we really want is to offset that face in addition to replacing it. So we wanted a distance of, say, 62 millimeters. 
So once we get that to the proper location, we'll go ahead and okay that. And we have one more small change to make up on some of the other ribs. The thing you will notice as we've been doing this as, is that our PMI dimensions do update as needed. In this example, we go ahead and move the, the bottom faces to line up to more of the topper faces. What you're going to notice is the one dimension of the reference dimension will go to um, a state where it cannot figure it out anymore because those dimensions were put on as parallel, dim parallel dimensions, not just a measurement between two faces. And what happened is when we moved the first face, the second face that it was originally measured to is no longer parallel to it, so it can't calculate a parallel dimension. But when I go ahead and make the second one parallel now, it will go ahead and reevaluate that and put that new dimension in there for me and automatically reassociate that. It's no longer an out-of-date dimension. The last thing we'll do after making a couple of design changes is we're going to go, go ahead and make a two-dimensional drawing of this, comp of this completed part. The thing when we do that, people always say is, I have all this PMI data, can I automatically get that into my drawing? And the answer is yes. That is one of the powers of NX is when as we put who's onto the drawings, we can go into the PMI selection and say, what kind of dimensions would we like to bring along? In our case, we're going to take all the dimensions that are in that frontish view that we have and just pull those PMI dimensions straight through onto the drawing. So it eliminates duplicate work. And not only duplicate work, it also eliminates um, the work of having to create those dimensions. I don't have to recreate anything. Everything stays up to date. If I would go back and make more design changes in the context of that part, my drawing will automatically update to it. It's that downstream pushing of that PMI across the entire enterprise so everyone has the most up-to-date information at their fingertips. You are now free to send this drawing off. If your suppliers say cannot take PMI today, you'd be very good to do that. Thank you very much.